Come on, y'all. Energy. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. yeah, 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 yeah. Energy, yeah, yeah. energy. Yeah. Sui. We back, yeah. we back. Sui. We back. We back. <laughs> Two out of a milli, we back. Yo. Oh, we All on. right. Oh, I ain't even know we what yeah. this Yeah. Father Side Podcast, footy discussion from our perspective and our perspective only in today. Yes, you are joined by... Sebastian. Kendrick. Elisha. Gabriel. Josh. And... Yo, welcome to Five Aside. For everybody who tuned in for episode one, we appreciate you. We appreciate you big a lot. Time, okay, whether time. you were on Spotify, whether you were on YouTube, tuning up with the clips on socials, on Instagram, on Back TikTok, we show. appreciate you. Back. Everybody that's been sending out questions, mad we love. Appreciate you big time. Bless major, up. major love. We got a great discussion with you guys today. I'm super happy to be with you guys, even though. It's been a tough week in, in football. We're going to talk for about you. it. Don't worry. We got, for you, we not for me. We're going to get into it. Okay. <laughs> Fine for me, too. For me. A little sympathy would be nice. Yeah, honestly. A little sympathy. Honestly. We're going to get straight into it. It's been a big week in the Champions League. Absolutely. And big results. Mm. Let's, let's get it started as we did last time mm. with AC Milan versus Chelsea. I'm going to swing it to this side of the room right there. For but sure. we're going to introduce it again. 2-0, mm. but this time in the San Siro, mm -hmm. at home, in AC Milan, Siro. you said this would not happen. What did he say last time? He said, oh, it's not going to happen in Italy. Mm. It ain't going to happen in Italy. I don't know. They stomped in your yard, bro. I don't know. Tough. All I got to say <laughs> is, Obama what? <laughs> <laughs> Obama who? Say Obama, bro. Blood Obama blood clot, yeah. Blood yeah. <laughs> Got that. Nah, for real. Nah, Big win for Chelsea. We won over the weekend as well. We looking good. We got momentum. Mm -hmm. I said what I said last time. It's, it's looking bro, good for I us. I wear two cowboy hats of Chelsea wins. <laughs> no, honestly, it's not honestly, happening. Bro. It's looking good for It's actually not happening. Oh, it's looking but it's good a good win. It's a good win. So, I mean, I don't have much to say on the topic. We did what we had to do two times in a row. Um, now I'm just hoping for the best for the rest of the campaign. From last to first, good shit, bro. All I have to say, right, is, you know, a lot of like soccer fans were wanting to watch that game. People were excited. And I just feel like, you know, the ref ruined the game, oh, in all honesty. Oh, God. Um, <sighs> here we go. The sodium is bad. This is how here I feel. This is sodium Seb. I'm going to start calling you Sodium Seb. Listen, <laughs> when it's a game of that Sophie magnitude, <laughs> when it's a game of that magnitude, and there's that many people that are tuning in to watch the highlight game of that evening, the rules need to be tweaked in such a way where oh. a foul that is most likely the softest foul I've ever seen in the Champions League results mm. in a red card and a penalty. I understand what the rules are. If you foul someone and it obstructs a clear goal or a clear uh, opportunity to score a goal, then it's a red and a penalty. But y'all watching, did that feel fair to y'all? Like, did y'all really enjoy that moment? Did y'all feel like that moment was handled correctly? Yeah, did you, was, as a Chelsea I'll, fan? I will say, I will say, it was upon, early. upon was, first yeah, glance, it early too. upon first early. glance, it looked like and a, a harsh reaction, mm -hmm. but watching it again, you could tell like Mason Mount was like forcing himself not to go down for real. He was forcing like, himself if, not to no, go down. No, because think about it. Think about it. Think <laughs> yeah, about it. <laughs> he was <laughs> forcing himself not Bro, to go down. I'm gonna tell you he was, why. He was fighting gravity. Any other any other football player, <laughs> any <laughs> other football player in that situation, one on one with the keeper, they feel a hand on their shoulder. They're going, down they're going to the ground. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other winger, any mm -hmm. other forward. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he stayed up and he got. Four hands on his shoulder, like not to that's, yeah, that's, that's the. That's the. That's the. I'm saying one, two, three, four. They yeah, right. pulling him back, twice. pulling him right, back. Right, right, yeah, he was so, the hands. That's so crazy. I get it. It looked it looked soft, but it also has to do with the fact that Mason Mount didn't go down. If he went down, it would have looked like an even clearer red. I think we watched two different clips mm. because Tamori <laughs> e. gently brushed his shoulder. Gently, no, ever so slightly. Don't drag it. Ever so slightly. Don't, don't, don't. Gently and brushed. And Mount fell right away. Nah, gently brushed is crazy. Bro, there's there's a clear conflict of interest here. And I feel yeah. like y'all just going to see it <laughs> based on how it benefits yeah, your that. team. My so. question is honestly just, do you feel like the rules are fair? Do you feel like it's it's the exact right way for soccer? I would say, I think honestly, to, yeah, res to respond to that, what you highlighted, it, be, it being the highlight of the week, the timing is very important. Like, there's certain rules in football that aren't stated. You yeah, know, yeah. you can't do certain big things. Like, a penalty without a red is seen different than a penalty with a red card. Yeah. Sure, for sure. Yeah. And, like, granted, even with the um, 
just the physicality of it. There's a lot of hands being put on the player. If that was on the wing, nobody's saying anything. Yeah, because literally. football is a physical sport. Yeah. But in the penalty box, you have to be a little more careful. So I don't know. I don't think it was a penalty, though. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think, think it was, it was a little harsh. Yeah. I feel like, especially at the beginning of the game, that earlier game of that magnitude, but some refs, you going to keep teasing yeah. them the whole time. But some My, refs just play by yeah. the book so much For that sure. they're just like, yo, I don't care what type of game this is. Yeah. If I feel like you grab a player once, you know you're in the box, yeah. you do it another time, fact. You, like you know what you're doing, you know the position you're in, you're going to get booked. He gave My thing is, cards. He My thing is this, um, in the whole... Yeah. <laughs> no, no, just seven. to Milan. Just to Milan. Oh, so we're talking yeah. about AC Milan, That's one of the, the biggest teams team. in history. You always talk about their football heritage, mentality, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Last two L's, I'm hearing a lot of excuses about everything besides their play. Right. Mm. So I'm just All curious right. how you mm. feel mm. with said, everybody's back in. So he said the, the atmosphere. atmosphere, the injuries, <laughs> the referee. What about on the pitch? All right. Y'all went to Poland and Drew. Relax. Oh, my relax. God. Oh, yeah. Relax. Relax. Every man is and, 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 tied to a loss. Uh, and we're gonna get straight. To to we're gonna get straight into that. Since you <laughs> yeah. mentioned, since you mentioned <laughs> them going to Poland and drawing. Yeah. Real Madrid. Come on. One we, we one. Took the walk to Poland. Shout one, out to Yadi versus <laughs> Shakhtar. And in, also, that's not Poland. That's Ukraine. That you yeah, Ukraine. Yeah. We took no, the walk to Poland. Ukraine. Wasn't it in Warsaw? Poland. Nah, we played Shakhtar. Dinner. But they don't have a stadium. Oh, they went in. The match was played. In, in Poland, and yeah, I'm not we even took touching the walk that. To Poland. I'm not even, I'm hey. not even touching that. But that? it was in Poland. It was in Poland. So, he said no face. Yeah. He said no face. Yes. I mean, I'm keeping very quick. Look at her face. Y'all look crazy. No face. I love it here. I'm not touching it. I love it here. No offense. Keep it quick. Uh, we took the walk to Poland. Remain undefeated in all competitions. Only our second draw of the year. Rudiger put his body on the line for a Max. 95th minute header. Glad he's recovering mm. all right. Lots of blood and he'll get stitches and wear the mask on Sunday for El Clasico. But mm. no concussion. He's fine. It's just That's good. tough boy to scratch. But, bro, Madrid did not play well. But, again, still have not lost all season. That Only was the second one. draw. Very close. That was played a close poorly. one. <laughs> but we talked about mentality last time with PSG, Facts. et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Facts. Madrid found a way. And they were just going crazy on goal the last 10 minutes. And they got the goal. I mean, you know Madrid, too. Then they text in the chat, ah, all this stuff. Bro, with Madrid, you wait till the final whistle. So y'all learned your lessons again. Madrid and Champions League are Come synonymous. on, Madrid and Champions League is actually a cheap code. So. Synonymous. That boy yeah, Rudiger almost lost his life for that. Yeah, like, but do, oh, do you feel, though, that it was um like a, not a warning shot, but yeah. like, uh, like what's going on? Nah. I, I, I flipped the channel like the yeah. last 15 minutes or so, and... Like, y'all didn't know what to do. Yeah. I'll say, like, I think, what, game 13, 14, have 12 wins, two ties. I'm not going to say it's a warning shot. Like, you're probably not going to win every single game, mm. especially in the Champions League group where you already won the first three games, and the draw does have them already qualified for the next round. Um, that puts them in great position. Now they can rest boys for the rest of the, the group stage. So not a great result, but away from home, you have some some sticky ones. Still came out with a draw. I think it's completely fine. Yeah. That's a fact. Man. And if anything, wakes them up a little bit for our classical. Not that they need that, but yeah, I'm fine with it. Okay. Okay. First of all, yes, well, you need and it. And I think we might have to get you into Barca it. right now. We need it. And we're going to get into it because we talk we... about El Clasico. You okay. talk about they don't need it. They need as much as they can get to prepare for this matchup because at Classico, we're not going to come in there easy, bro. No, it's is easy. Listen, I'm saying gonna, like... Go, it's going to be a great matchup. <laughs> we're going to put in work just like we put in work against Inter. And I'm going to get straight into it. 3-3, three, three, Barcelona versus Inter Milan. He's different. And listen, I started this... I'm just going to drink my tea. At some point, look, I was angry with the team. Mm. I was mad because I was like, there's no way that PK should be letting a ball get into the box like that. Two this hands man open both his arms like he's two right. Two hands <laughs> up like Quasi's <laughs> auntie, listen, bro. Crazy. Listen, he put up his two hands like he's Christ the Redeemer. Y'all seen that statue That's in crazy. Brazil, bro? You're, yeah. Why? Why are your two hands up instead of defending? Like, get it out of the <laughs> nah, box, that's nasty bro. That's too, because he's like, yo, it's all good, bro. Then they scored. Like, Come on. Crazy. Listen, and I'll say crazy. this to PK crazy. right now. Oh, shit. Okay? If you don't have no plan B, get it out the box. If you know, you know. That's all I'm saying. That's my metaphor. Wow. Get it out the box. There's no the the defense 
of different. Barcelona was atrocious, bro. Yeah. Shout out to Gavi. Shout out to Pedri. Mm. Shout out Ousmane boys. Dembele. Shout young out boys. Rafinha. Rafinha was Rafinha. pissed off that he got taken off yeah. at the 65th minute. Which he, he was one of the best players on yeah. the pitch today. Yeah. Why is he yeah. off? Bro, shout out Robert Lewandowski. This man's been getting criticized. I've been criticizing him for not showing up in big moments. Yeah, yeah. He goes and scored too. The pure rage in that header. Oh, that was different. That yeah. he that he got, yeah. bro, for, uh, for the second goal yeah. was like, yo, I'm trying yeah. to prove a point. Yeah. The defense is atrocious. In January, please, I don't know, the financial advisors or the the finance people. There is no finance. In, 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 y'all in Barca, they got locked up, bro. Find a way. <laughs> locked find up. A way. There is no finance. Find a no way. Finance. I don't no finance. Care what finance. Leverage y'all pull, bro. Y'all had to make the group stages to make that money back. Yeah. If you don't if, make past the group uh, stages, if no y'all money. gotta get the Florida scammers or whatever <laughs> to get y'all some bread to bring in some defenders, please do that. Yeah, PK, boys. go somewhere. Sergio Busquets, go somewhere. Sergio Roberto, wow. I love you. Yeah. All the legends. Please, <laughs> yeah, sit down a little Kick bit. Kick them to the curb. Yes, bro. So, so defense is atrocious. It we is. need some fresh legs in there. It's just not working out right now. Your coach, are you keeping him? Xavi? Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. Okay. No, yes. not worried at all. It's not weird. Two years I, in a row, Europa League. That's not. That's okay. I'm not. I'm not worried because I can't. I don't like this this culture that we've built of just firing coaches whenever things are not going wrong mm. or, or whenever things are not yeah. going right. Because it's not all on the coach, bro. The players are on the pitch. Y'all laughing. The players are on the pitch. I'm not firing him. I, I don't think it's his fault. I it's think crazy. the system works. Bro. I think the system works. I'm not. I'm not firing. He's unbelievable. <laughs> Put them on. Put the shades on. The Two shame shades. Years. I'm going to call these the shame shades. The shame shades. <laughs> Two years in a row, Europa League. <laughs> Look, we, we not. Hold on. The shades is not coming on yet because we're not in Europa League yet. We still have a shot. If we could come back versus PSG and do what we did five years ago, then we could. He said that last week. What you mean? The PSG Inter- come back. It's interesting to lose to, I don't even know the name of the Victoria team. Victoria Pleasant. <laughs> listen, at the end of the day. How do you spell Pleasant, bro? Listen. Uh, come on, G. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> at the nah, end of the day. If Qatar, all I'm saying, Sorry. and this Qatar. is without without insinuating anything, he said Qatar. If, if Qatar could get a bid for the World Cup, Barca could get passed in the Champions League. That's all I'm nah, saying. Nah, Qatar I'm, actually I'm got money. To Qatar nothing. paid for that. Y'all not paying for the Ws, What can y'all pay for? Yeah. I don't know, bro. Bro, y'all Barca had go. Frankie de Jong take a pay cut. He had to sell his whip, his home, <laughs> to sit on the bench to still go to the Europa League. That's crazy. Uh, we can't, we can't underplay crazy. Inter, though. No, of course. Inter balled out. Inter's Fucking been course. balling. I mean, oh. what it, I think they're eighth, seventh in Serie A. Yeah. But in Champions League, they've been showing up. Yeah, I mean, Inter Inter's a, is a very good team. They just need to figure out what's going on this yeah. season in terms of the league. But, like, when the pressure counts, like, mm. as, as Inter has often done, they show up. Uh, I'm a Milan fan, so it hurts me to speak well on that team. But you know, yeah, yeah no, nah, we good. don't have to. They're good. Play we really play. don't have to. Play really well. Yeah, they, mm. I mean, if you speak down on him, it makes it worse for y'all. But mm. how do you guys feel about Lautaro? Any thoughts on him? El Toro, nah, he's tough, bro. Um, really, really good finish for the first, the second goal. Amazing assist for the third one. That, and he's yeah. gonna be big for Argentina in the World Cup too, especially if the ball is out and Di Maria is out. So definitely a young baller, a lot of potential, and I think it's really starting to come together now. I don't know who that was that scored the last goal. Y'all know his name. Gosen. Gosen. Gosen, yeah. yeah. Yo. Finish. He was finish. hustling down I don't know. the wing, bro. I don't know yeah. who that was either. He was know. he was in oh, his yeah, own was, half. You saying both on the left wing. Gosen's is um if y'all know Atalanta, he's an Atalanta product. Yeah. He's one of those one of those wingers that just and comes sh- out of Serie A. And, and shout out Onana. Nice goal Always gotta shout out the black goalkeepers. He played a crazy what a ball. long ball, 70 yards. To the tower who That's got on the wing, y'all created and him, then right? played the great through ball for the for the third goal for Inter. Yeah, so shout out Nana. Uh, you know, a great yeah, a great game. We got three three. We got a point. Yeah, mm, uh, start the buses. Yeah, let's move on to some other UCL matches. Mm-hmm. So. Liverpool versus who did Liverpool play against? I'm uh, Rangers. Rangers. In Scotland. Rangers. They traveled yes. to Scotland. Trashed them. Yeah, seven one. Seven one. Yeah, Jesus. Firmino got two goals. He's been a little quiet mm. um, as of recent, but he got yeah. a brace. Salah. With the fastest hat trick in UCL history. Yep, three yeah. goals in five minutes. Amazing. Different. Amazing. So yeah. Liverpool got they're they're I feel like they're getting back on their groove, especially since again, they've been they've been having a lot of injuries this season. Mm-hmm. And back on uh, their groove. Back on their groove. Speak on it because Arsenal. Something. Yes. We'll get there. <laughs> we gonna get we gonna talk about it right away. And I feel like it was an easy win for them. It was so, expected for them to um, <coughs> go and beat Rangers. I feel like Rangers mm-hmm. could have put up a bigger fight because they were at home. Yeah. But 
Liverpool got the W, but <laughs> couldn't do it against Arsenal this past weekend. 3 2. Mm-hmm. Hell of a game. Just excited for, as a neutral yes. fan. Great, Thanks. great football. Yeah. yeah. It was it was definitely entertaining. And it it, it raises the question now. Uh, and it was entertaining because not just because of because it was a high scoring game, because three two is a lot of goals, especially in a Premier League in a matchup like that. Mm-hmm. Sure. But the fact that the stakes that are that are at play right now with mm-hmm. Arsenal, obviously a point up in the Premier League, Liverpool not doing so well, mm-hmm. City is still right behind. But does does this mean that Arsenal are actually contenders for the Premier League title now? I mean, like hmm. they're and it's crazy to talk to, to Arsenal, even ask this yeah, question yeah, now because yeah. just last season we're we're talking about Arsenal like man, this club is is they they don't seem to have a, a direct route to success again, mm-hmm. and now we're genuinely like looking at them as contenders for the for the Premier League title. So, not does, literally, like not does, too. Yeah, is this is this as a, as a Man United fan? Yeah. Is this does it hurt to see it? And can you actually be unbiased and say, yeah, Arsenal might actually win the league? I mean, winning the league is a bit much only because of like the last couple seasons. You know what I mean? They have a chance. They're up now. Let's see how January goes. Let's see the injuries that come through all that. You know, it's a long, the EPL is a long game. It's not, it's not a short game. And you're going against a man city too that has been winning it. Mm. Like Arsenal, y'all, y'all doing well now. The one thing I'll say for Arsenal, I think the one interesting advantage that they have that like I don't think people have spoken about too much is a lot of their players are not going to be playing at that World Cup. Mm. Mm. Whereas okay. City's players are. Which Liverpool, main players aren't? I mean, Saka. Odegaard isn't going. Saka will play, but not a lot. Martinelli will play, but not a lot. Saka Gabriel Jesus start, is though. going to. Gabriel Jesus didn't get called up. He to didn't the last get called team. up to he the He didn't last, get called up. Like, he's chilling. So bro. there's a lot of Arsenal players that seem to be either on the fringe of their national teams or not even going at all, mm-hmm. which is a big deal because that World Cup is right in the middle of the season. And when mm-hmm. all those City players get injured and come back tired, when all those Chelsea players get injured and come home tired, it's just Arsenal. Mm-hmm. Well, like support. City has crazy depth. I just got to add. But no, go ahead, bro. Yeah. And to add on to that, their main man is resting the whole World this is Cup. True. This is yeah. true. Erling is in the chamber. <laughs> yeah. November, December. I'm true. I'm rooting for. Obviously, I like. I'm not rooting for Arsenal in yeah. the purest heart oh, sense. Oh God! But <laughs> careful. Out of, out of you know the top teams right now in the Prem that are competing for it, I'm definitely rooting for Arsenal. Yeah. They got a lot of young talent. Young black talent. Come on. Um, so it's really good to see. And I'm happy to see Jesus like balling out because we know yeah. he had to take a back seat for a little while at yeah. City. So yeah. and knowing where he comes from, his background, like seeing for him sure. balling out and doing his thing is like yeah. it's good. It's comforting. Same. As a neutral fan, I feel like anyone, because obviously Real Madrid fan, I'm into La Liga more. <laughs> As a neutral, it's definitely rooting for Arsenal. Got to. It's just more exciting for the league. Because if Man City wins, that's five in the last six years. <laughs> Does it That's kind of too much, yeah. bro. Yeah, it's too much. And I don't want to see you say farmers because it's, it's a very talented league. But <laughs> yeah. in terms of who's actually winning it, it's like, damn, bro, it's what's, not that competitive. <laughs> what's this about the petition to get Holland? Two million, two million signatures. To get him booted from to the country. The Can you deport a robot though? Deported? I don't know. I don't nuts. Know. I don't bro. Know. No, I Just feel like him. And he's got a little bro who scored like 60 goals in yeah, 38 games yeah, in the youth. And yeah. Nah, that's a whole factory out there. Bro. Nah, I, I heard his age was wrong for that. Somebody made Someone's that like, yeah, this, but Facts don't matter. Yeah. Facts oh. don't matter. Yeah, Holland, Deception. we've established <laughs> Holland is not human. He's a robot. For sure. And I think that, yeah, Arsenal definitely have a good chance of winning the league. Obviously, it's very early, so mm-hmm. we're going to have to see how they progress before, after the World Cup. And to see if they actually have a shot, because again, there there's other teams in the Premier League, and yeah, things could change very very quickly. Chelsea's coming, so relax. What place are y'all in? And I'm not saying facetiously. I actually don't know. Yeah. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried about that. Okay, <laughs> I'm just curious. Is it we, on the, we on the climb. We on the climb. Somebody check that. I don't know. We're on the climb, mm. but we yeah. coming. <clears throat> we coming. The pieces are coming together. Mm. Obama Yang, do your thing, bro. This ain't Arsenal. Hey, hold on, Obama Yang, do your thing. Who's the yang to his yang? Bars. Hold on. Hold <laughs> Anyways, on. Next guys, yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all can skip that part, bro. Y'all can skip that part. We're not going to have a long day. Thank you, Rappi. Let's oh, keep it nah. rolling. We're not going to close out. Why Clef Jean over here? That's crazy. Let's keep it rolling. Come on, man. Hold on. <laughs> I'm Yo, weak as hell. Shout out White Clef, bro. But uh, we're not going to close out. Anyways. We're not going to close out the UCL yet. It's game. Because... 
We still got to talk about PSG. Oh, Again, yeah. drawing 1-1 um, yeah. to Benfica. Yeah. Mbappe with the penalty. Not a whole lot of people seem to be too thrilled about him scoring either because of the recent news that have come out. Mm -hmm. Rumors, reports. I've seen it on Bleacher Report. Yeah. I've seen it on ESPN. Everywhere. Fabrizio Romano has talked about it. <coughs> Kylian Mbappe reportedly is unhappy again. Yeah, you're you're not listening to this six months ago. You're listening nah, to this I'm in October of 2022. Bro. Kylian Mbappe is unhappy at PSG mm -hmm. after signing one of the biggest contracts, yeah. the biggest contract in football history. Yeah. He's unhappy and he's asking to leave potentially in January. You could have had it all, buddy. Mm. You could have had it all. Mm. Real fans are looking messes. at you like... Yeah. It all. And watch this oh, too. Weird. They're Seb, so weird. Nah, <laughs> watch this. So Seb's been blaming all of this on Real Madrid, which is hysterical. So I'd love to know how this is also Real Madrid's fault. So, you know, back to my <laughs> initial conspiracy theory. Um, <laughs> as a Real Madrid, you know, media mm -hmm. mogul, for sure, it makes sense to yeah. put out all those rumors about Mbappe. Great. And that, it was only that, Madrid who made rumors about one of the best players in the world, for sure. Okay, That's what I'm saying. That's actually exactly what I'm saying. I'm only saying that Real Madrid, Madrid created the entire tension around the Mbappe situation, okay. leading to all this different uh, tension between him and the coaches, tension between him and the staff, tension between him and the upper management, tension between him and the players, which creates a toxic environment for a player to play in. So, five months down the line, he wants to leave. And who is the only team that has space for him and can afford him? It's mm -hmm. y'all. Yo, big man Mbappe, Neymar, Messi. I think y'all can handle some rumors in the news. That's on y'all. Sorry. Yo, I'm not. That's gonna lie. on y'all. That's not on rumors. I'm not gonna lie, news, bro. What? It makes sense. Get out of here. You sense. sound like a flat earther right now. Yeah, that's real talk, crazy. Dog. What? To be talking about. Oh, they created tension in the locker room. Shout out to the flat earther. Shout out to the flat earther. Shout out to the flat earther. My people. Shout out Kyrie Irving. We accept all beliefs. Yeah. Shout out Kyrie Irving. I hate that. Oh my god. That's crazy. Yeah, but I think I think that's wrong. By the way. It's do you great. want him? Do you want him at Real now? Do you? Bro, it's like... As a Real Madrid fan, do you want Mbappe very, at Real Madrid? very, interesting. Here's my thing. <laughs> if he's going to join Real Madrid, Papa Perez is mm -hmm. going to talk to him on some ego shit and be like, yo, Real Madrid is bigger than any player. Bigger than Ronaldo. Bigger than anyone who will ever be here. Yeah, so come If you him. check your ego at the door and you just want to play ball, we'd love to have you. If you do any of that funny shit, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I think that's really the mentality. Because here's my thing. If he's like, you know what, I was wildin', I'm just going to play, and now you have him, Vinny, and Benz, it's a wrap. They got leverage now. It's a wrap. So they why have is a lot he upset? more leverage. Why is he actually upset? Like, okay, so conspiracy. Why is he actually upset? Reportedly, <clears throat> allegedly, because we, we don't know. Here's what I have to emphasize, is that these are just rumors and reports, and people are saying things, and they just so happen to actually publish them on media sites and people like Fabrizio Romano who are sure. who are reputable for having good insights mm -hmm. and sources mm -hmm. are actually putting this out there. Yeah. We don't know for sure though. Like this is this is just people talking. We can't know for sure that mm -hmm. Mbappe is actually unhappy and to be honest that when things like that come out I'm always like, yo, mm -hmm. who in their right mind who's close to Mbappe would actually let that type of information get out there. I oh, feel the, like the if finger, the finger is up. What he posted something though, didn't he? Didn't he post a little shot at PSG on his Instagram story? What's going on, sir? What happened? So I feel like what I saw on Instagram and what people were talking about was he posted the hashtag pivot gang thing in his story, like talking about pivot how gang. he feels like he's playing in the wrong position as Ooh, a pivot striker. Yeah, okay. Like that could just be me. I could have just seen that in a rumor. Nah, that's but I feel much. like that was shout out Pivot Gang in Chicago, Saba. Anyway, shout out Saba. <laughs> that's what sure, I was right? Yeah, I was like Saba. Yeah. I I will say I'm on I'm on the other side of this argument. I was talking to some friends about it. I feel like to a degree it's justified because if you're at that age at the peak of your career, you're asking for all this money, whatever they throwing all this money at you, and you're telling the owners of the club like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna stay, but if I stay. Yeah. You need to help me be the best that I can be at this club. I need a number nine. I need certain defensive pieces in the club. Like, I'll stay if you do that for me, but I need that. Mm -hmm. And then you don't get that. Mm. And you had the opportunity to play at your childhood dream mm -hmm. club, mm -hmm. but you pass that up to be here. You have a reason to be upset. And I don't think, you know, all the drama is ever going to look good to the public, but... But it's tough. You have a reason to be upset. But one of the re but one of the reasons why he's upset is what they're saying is 
partly because Neymar is still there. Mm. Like apparently mm. Neymar is not a, a part of the Mbappe plan. Mm. So Neymar so Jr. Crazy. cannot not be a so like are you are you dumb, yeah. bro? <laughs> are you That's like crazy, bro, bro? The shades gotta come off for this. Are you yeah. crazy? You cannot yeah. you cannot pull up to this team and tell them and tell the front office that Neymar is just not a part of your plan. So he's gotta go. He's Neymar, bro. Are you crazy? Do you know what yeah. this what this guy means to the game? What he means to this team? I feel like to PSG. Neymar is probably more valuable than than Mbappe is. It's not, it's not probably. I mean, due to yeah. positioning as well yeah. as due to the branding, his his association with Nike used to be a big thing for the Jordan collab, yeah. which is undertones. But I don't know. I don't know if I believe that Neymar being there is really Mbappe is too. He knows too much for that. You know what I mean? Egos are big though. Egos are big, but like Neymar not being gone and now, like for instance, this report makes sense, but it wouldn't be like this just happened. Let me just say that that makes sense. You know what I mean? He might have felt that before and it's coming out now. I think, yeah, I think he definitely felt it before. He got the biggest contract in history Mm -hmm. and it's like, all right, it's worth it. I am French. I could do something special here. He's just like, I still don't fuck with playing with these guys. And I think he just wants out. Mm -hmm. The money's not enough because he'll still get a crazy bag in Madrid Mm -hmm. and he's already done wealthy at 24 and he's going to end probably a billionaire at some point Mm -hmm. with inflation and everything. So... That difference in money might not matter to him. That's what so, I'm saying. It's yeah. not like he just went like it had yeah. to Yeah. No, it's like, definitely been This is late. This is yeah. late. Because <laughs> Neymar's been going crazy this year too. Yeah. So it can't be on that. Yeah. yeah. Unless it is that. Unless he has seen Neymar going crazy and it's just pissing him off. You know? That's, I mean, obviously I don't know killing Mbappe, but like you'd have to have quite a fragile ego to be upset that your teammate's playing really well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially if you want to win the Champions League. Like, bro, but it happens. It, it happens. No, it, it happens. happens in sports. Yeah, it does. But it that's like different. I level. believe in you. Killing him, Bobby. I believe in him too, bro. If you listening to this, I'm rooting for you. For bro, sure. come to Madrid and really enjoy football. Mm. And that's really the thing too. Football. Like, I come think to Chelsea. There are a lot I of people, know. especially <laughs> before. That's not going. London. <laughs> imagine Bobby on the London Cowboys. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> yeah. I'm not even going. I don't see it. It's not going. I'll, wear, I'll wear the boots too of Chelsea. Nah, I tried oh to. God. I tried to envision it going to the Stanford Beat Bridge That's to hilarious. meet Killian. Too yeah. small of a state. Does it? Sure. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. He can come to Milan. Wow. He can come to Milan. We'll do a swap sure. layout. Yeah. Mbappe. We'll Nobody singing about Italy. Sorry. <laughs> That's where. Yo, taxes. There's no no taxes out here. <laughs> no yo, taxes. We don't tax our players. That's why they all come to Italy. Who's that? Oh, anyways. <laughs> the league will be taxing. Y'all be taxing. Yeah, Messi, 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 Messi fraud. fraud. Like, fraud. Ronaldo, Ronaldo fraud. fraud. Shakira fraud. Yeah. No, Y'all be taxing. Y'all be yeah. Messi Hand in a pocket. Up. Yo, the, the hips don't lie, but the tax returns do. Le- wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's Lionel bar. Messi, I That's love you. PK, stay at home. Stop going to the club. Nah, all these Get boys. Trouble. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of, because we're, we're name dropping a lot of bowlers right now. We talking about Neymar. We talking about Messi. We talking about Mbappe. We talked about how crazy Lewandowski went earlier in the Barca game. And obviously, every single year, there's a little special award that's given out in Europe to the best players, to what people think is the best players. Obviously, it's very subjective. Allegedly. But we're talking about France football's own Ballon d'Or. Y'all see the trophy. Y'all see how we we, we pull up. We got to... This is the real version, saying? by the way. This is yeah. the real... Actual Ballon d'Or. Yes, yeah, real one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got the real thing. Like the real, real thing. Right. We don't this come with no... With no <laughs> yeah. We don't pull up with no that's reps out here. Okay? Yeah, that's real gold. Bring your little gold testers sure. on it. Who, who we get this Ballon d'Or from? The uh, UEFA representatives. Straight mm-hmm. from Monaco. Stop playing with us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. This yeah is, whatever he said. This is going to be there next week. You know what's funny? They gave us the Ballon d'Or for the best footy podcast already off episode one. That's different. Amazing. Time Amazing. Clap it up for that. Clap it up for that. Come I mean, on, we board. won the ball of podcast. Five aside. And it's the first ever award. Different. Bro. Yeah. Amazing. Us, bro. Amazing. But the Ballon d'Or. The Ballon d'Or <laughs> is next week. Five aside already. We already got our own. That's Ballon d'Or is next week. Uh, it seems like Benzema is the favorite. Has yep. to be. Is but is it set in stone? Is it guaranteed it is. Benzema is going to win the Ballon yeah. d'Or? From the rumors and sh- <laughs> like they even have Ronaldo making sure he's going to be there. To I don't know if he's going to present the award, but being attendance, he's going to be in attendance. All the behind the scenes things of like it's like with the Grammys, Oscars when you know you're going to win that big award. Right. Everything I've seen is like nah, it's already set. I so it'll be more of the other voting. Yeah, there's someone to not give me that award after the season. Oh, I dare. Yeah, I dare. Dog. So who's two? That's a really good question. Sadio Mane. Mm. I think, okay. and and this is not I, like I feel like a lot of yeah. people are gonna think bad. that 
a lot of people are going to think that I'm going to run with this whole uh, Senegal narrative and no. that everything is going to be Senegal, Senegal, Senegal. But <laughs> I do feel like Sadio Mane is a close contender. Mm -hmm. uh, African CAF, African yeah. Player of the Year, mm -hmm. uh, AFCON champion. Mm -hmm. They won what? The FA Cup, the League Cup with, with Liverpool mm -hmm. and has been arguably the best player in the past year for Liverpool. Mm -hmm. So I think he's that been their if, best player for sure. For sure. Yeah, for if sure. anybody if they did do they still they don't still do the the gold silver bronze thing anymore, no. right? That was for the the old yeah. um yeah, she's awards. But yeah. if but if anybody would get silver, it would be Sadio Mane. That's and bad. and to be honest, if they really got problems internally with Benzema like that cuz this is a France football award yeah. and we know about all the politics that go on to that go into these things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we know Benzema has had a history yeah. Yeah. with France and he's just now out of the doghouse. So yeah. who knows? They might grease him and say, Imagine. Mane, you get the Ballon d'Or. It would be crazy, but I'll I, take I, it. I highly doubt I'll it. Take it. But Mane I'll deserves. Take it. I'll take it. I would, I mean, it doesn't change what he accomplished last year. Like we got the trophy so. cabinet to get more full. So it's Facts. Cool. But I will say uh, underrated shout <clears throat> is Thibaut Courtois. Yo, okay. he went Explain. crazy last year, was easily Madrid's second best player on the team. Mm -hmm. No way in hell are we winning the Champions League without him. The amount of saves he made against Liverpool were out of this world. One of the best goalie performances I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. He was pulling saves um, out of nowhere against Chelsea, Man City, PSG. And it's really hard for goalkeepers to get that recognition, especially if you don't have the clean sheet to back it up. Mm -hmm. But by far, to me, best goalie in the world. And um, I honestly think he should be top three. What what yeah. club did you get him from? Chelsea. Yeah. Take y'all players, make them better, and win some real trophies. I just, I just, we I just make wanna... legends. I just want to say y'all the adult version of Dortmund. We make <laughs> <laughs> big shout we out to uh, big shout out to Mark Andre Ter Stegen. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I just, I, we love next you. Topic. We love you, and we just, we <laughs> appreciate you Nobody for saving us. It. Nobody's Yo, thinking I about you. Shout out to you. Do have to thank him though. You really do. Have <laughs> nah, to thank today him. for sure. We love you, we love um, Mark. Uh, but, and I'm loving the new hairline, too. I think he went to Turkey. Yeah. Before we get into the women's <laughs> side of the Ballon d'Or, which is also very important, who do y'all think are the early favorites for next year's award? Next year's for, award. For the women's Ballon d'Or? No, I'm hey. saying for the men's next year, and then we'll get into the women's. It's in, yeah, so season as of right now. Yeah, yeah. Vinicius. Neymar. Neymar. Yeah. Come on. Depending on how the World Cup yeah. goes. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's interesting. World yeah, Cup World plays Cup a matters. huge World role. Because remember, Modric obviously yeah. had a great year with yeah. um, Real Madrid. The World Cup well, matters. The World Cup matters. Yeah, for right. me, it's a World Cup probably Ho Holland and Vinny, top two. Yeah, Neymar, they're so. not going to give it to Holland. I don't see the. It's, it's too early, but if he goes at this rate, which he won't, it's nearly impossible. <laughs> I see Holland having like a Lewandowski type career where they just overlook him. Because but he's doing he more than Lewandowski did at that age yeah. and at Man City. And if they win UCL and he continues at a remotely similar rate, he has to have it. I will Even say. Even if anyone won't get it. Like, I, yeah. No, you gotta, for a fact, like, being in England brings a different type of attention. That's true. Yeah. But, like, I could see that if he went to Bayern, then he would definitely could be yeah. overlooked a bit. But, I mean, who's the last player that played in England that won the Ballon d'Or? It's been a long Ronaldo time. Ronaldo 2008 would be off the 2008. top. 2008. You know? Come yeah, on, that's sir. A, that's a long yeah. time. So, fact sheet. Yeah. That's a long you got, time. You kind of have to go to Spain to win that Ballon d'Or. Hey, Spain is Madrid, Barca, the two biggest teams in the yeah, world. For sure. For yeah. sure. For sure. There's there's definitely a lot of politics that go into that, but also that brings up the point. Two thousand United. Do y'all realize that? Of course. He, of course. Yeah, yeah. Just now, nah, let every he time. needs a little love. Yeah, bro. He's yeah, yeah. Shit on a lot. We'll give you some love. Yeah. Shout yeah. out to Man United. Shout out yeah. to Cristiano Ronaldo reaching seven hundred career goals. Also, yeah. we got it. We got to clap it off for that, bro. Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's, that's legendary. That's legendary. What is, so this, legendary. what is this pity clap? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, goals, Ronaldo big. don't need our claps, bro. We got a billion in dollars. Seven hundred goals. Still can't come to the U.S. though. Stay out of America. Someone sent me the facts because I don't know the facts. Please. I don't know if that's true, but it definitely could be. Sure. You, don't wanna, the you don't want to no read, read those facts. facts. I, yeah, I got to do some research. I got, there, I got them after the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, because like a judge dismissed. I don't know what that means, lawyer. Oh like, I don't God. know. I, I, actually, I genuinely don't know. I got him after the <laughs> guy, eyes, eyes wide shut this guy. But it seems like now we're coming to the end of, it, <laughs> of a crazy. big era. Like yeah. the Ballon d'Or, we're genuinely talking about the Ballon d'Or and we didn't mention Messi or Ronaldo not yeah, one did. time in that conversation. Yeah, true. The end of an era for sure. I don't think it's such a bad thing because obviously just time uh, changes and that domination ha ran its course. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's good that there's more diversity now. I'll say the top's getting blacker for sure. Yeah. yeah. Madrid could be starting nine black players next year. Like, come on, it's different. That's, That's kind of wild. Yeah. That's kind of wild. We're already cool. starting like seven now. That's like I cool. said, if we get Jude and Reese or it'd be eight, 
Benzema and then Courtois and Valverde. Yeah. And then You're Mbappe? Really Reece. trying to get your players, bro. Bro, I'm just saying. That's if, crazy. Okay, Rudiger another and black. Reece, that's nuts, bro. And Courtois? I mean, there's and Hazard? Oh, my fault. <laughs> there's yeah, levels. There's levels. Yeah, actually, there's levels, actually Chelsea to yeah. Real Madrid. School to prison pipeline. Come on, G. <laughs> it's the opposite. That's school to college pipeline. <laughs> nah, bro. School to, the school to prison pipeline. Taking your mic, bro. School to prison is nuts. Ask Hazard. Ask Hazard. That guy's in jail. He's the rare exception, bro. That's on him. Hazard's a lemon, bro. He fell in love with the top of the vino. What? He's a lemon. They call it players who come injured. <laughs> yeah. Kaka was a lemon as well. Yeah. We took him from y'all. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. It's bitter. But, um, <laughs> stay where you are. Got to talk it, about the women's side of the Ballon d'Or as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of ballers are out here going crazy. Got to give a big shout out to Trinity Rodman getting nominated um, as a baller on the Washington Spirit. Mm -hmm. Young American player who's... I mean, she's just balling out. She can do it all Bro, on the pitch. Let's Won go. the championship as a rookie, let's go, let's rookie go. of the year, and uh, MVP candidate as well. Mm -hmm. Still only, I believe, about 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Gonna be a GOAT for sure. If we for gonna, sure. Yeah. We're going to talk about Americans doing their thing. We're going to shout out Katarina. Have to. Come on, won the Champions League. Lyon. Have to. She's up there. I don't know who's going to win, though. Who y'all think going to win? Uh, well, Alexia I, might be favorite, but Alexia Puteas for yeah. sure, because just, you yeah. know, Barca. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. Barca fam. Of course. Of course. But also, Asisat um, Ochaola yeah. is also a big favorite. Shout out Nigeria. Shout out all, Shout the, out all the Niger babes. Yeah, sure. man. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out the facts, bro. Come on. Like, actually, yeah. Facts. Definitely. Shout out. Yeah. Definitely. Shout out to Nigeria. Shout out to Asisat. And I feel like uh, for the Ballon d'Or, for the women's Ballon d'Or, I think that there should be a lot more emphasis on individual skill rather than just team success. Uh, team success. Yeah, the yeah. yeah, cause I feel like yeah, there should be more emphasis on individual skill rather than if you're on a national team that won something or yeah. uh, your but club again, it's politics. won something. Yeah, there's always the politics yeah. in that, and I hope that because it's becoming more of a popular thing and there's a lot more emphasis now on the women's game that they get to start on a healthy foundation and that they don't follow the men's lead in that sense and get too much into the politics. So I think that right now is is a good time yeah. for them to establish that that foundation yeah. and make it very fair. And it's like, if you're the best woman within the last season, then you deserve mm -hmm. this award. And yeah, that's yeah. just how it should be. But yeah to add on if we're going to talk about these awards to the best award was already given out which is a very good hint as to what people are already thinking mm -hmm. at that level yeah so benzema puteas yeah. yeah. i wouldn't be surprised although like yo watching rodman play is insane nah she's different bro trinity rodman is like the best soccer player i've ever seen live like yeah literally yeah. the best right. soccer player i've ever seen live and i've seen ibra live leal live yeah rooney live tati live but like trinity rodman like the way that she plays is incredible. She's by far the best player on the field every time. Yeah. Shout out. She to actually her. does it all too. Yeah. Shout out to Dennis Rodman's jeans. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they. Nah, that's they her work. work though. That's her work. <laughs> no, but shout out to no facts. And I real. think shout out to Rodman's you. jeans. I remember in the I think it was the championship <laughs> game. I think she won a side tackle, dribbled past two players, launched like a thirty yard yeah. um, cross. For the game winning assist, like no, she's just not, did it all. She's cold. I, I, I she's see, different. Seen her in person too. They can't different. keep up. No. This is a DC guy who's rooting yeah. for Washington Spirit, by the way. So there's a little bias going. No, on. but still, no. catch us at the championship game Saturday, October 29th. Yes, for sir. Sure. NWSL. We gonna shout be. out to Sam Kerr. Mm. Shout out to Sam Kerr. Oh, Chelsea, on the cover of FIFA. FIFA. FIFA cover. Come on. Yes. Yeah. So oh, yo, I I think this is a good moment for women's football it is it's sure. a good it's it's a very good moment and i credit that partially to the the u.s women's national team also making so much noise not just in the football world but just but culturally mm -hmm. that kind of has given a boost to the women's game overall i was about to say they just lost twice in a row they friendlies though friendlies yeah no but i'm saying for the Spaniards. of course of course yeah. nice yeah Gotta but, shout out England too. Yeah, for sure. England for women's sure. team. We was there for that. Yeah, the that semifinal incredible. and the final. Well, yeah. They balled out. That was a movie. I mean, they've been leaders, and even just saying that they lost is more the fact that the rest of the world is catching up mm -hmm. to yeah. them. That's what more I'm yeah. highlighting. You still got them four stars on the chest. Don't get it twisted. You know what I'm saying <laughs> in the middle though. In the middle of the chest. Bow. <laughs> Not see. even in the middle. It's like to the side, right? Yeah. Of the Nike sign, yeah. yo, it's Nike, fix them, fix them joints, fix up, the bro. Joints, bro. You know what? This is that's a great segue. Speaking of Nike, speaking, you know what I'm saying. 
dripped out in a deer, this all that, you know what I'm saying? We we, yeah. we got to talk about some of the other sides of football. Absolutely. Um, fashion has been a big, big factor in the game as of recent. We've seen uh, Kamavinga walking for, what is it, Balenciaga? Balenciaga. The, the, the off-white and uh, AC Milan collaboration. Yep. And it just seems like it's infiltrating itself into the game 100%. a lot more now, the fashion. Yep. So what do you guys feel like where... Where do you think this is headed, and is it good for the game? Mm. So, for me as an AC Milan fan, the dream is to one day see an AC Milan jersey not a uh, walk-on jacket or pitch sponsor, but like a jersey made by Gucci. Mm. That that would be incredible. <laughs> or like to yeah. see like PSG have like a no. Dior sponsor like yeah. that makes their jerseys and stuff. Yeah. Maybe it's a limited edition sort of release but to have like those high fashion brands yeah put out stuff that is worn in game would be incredible to see yeah um because it would just like allow for the game to grow in terms of how it reaches the u.s because yeah. that's that's how you grab attention no nah, 100 wait, wait hold on to that point yeah to that point i would love to see ac milan collaborating with gucci designed and curated by Sebastian Kaya. You know, come on. You know. Speaking of existence, come on. Come on. Come on. Put that come on. out. Let's make it happen. <laughs> make it, make happen. it happen. Listen. For sure. Make it happen. AC Milan, Gucci, you're yeah. listening. We out here. Tap in. Tap but um, in. nah, man, it's it's definitely making uh lots of crazy waves. Like Madrid also partnered with Zegna for their luxury travel wear. So they're pulling up to every game now. Mm -hmm. Um, dripped out in Zegna. There's Inter Montclair. Um, there's PSG Dior, which actually already exists, yeah, just not for yeah, the jerseys. Uh, and I 100% agree. The next step, because, and I will just say real quick though, all this half action collabs, like no other sports even doing it like this. Yeah, exactly. The NBA has dripped out as it is, league fits, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's no Knicks Dior yeah. thing coming out. There's also there's no Lakers. NBA has one I, you template. Know what I'm saying? And Every NBA jersey is for the same sure. template. So I think it separates footy as a global fashion sport <laughs> on top of everything that it already is as the world's most popular sport. And I think like if we can turn jerseys into a piece of luxury streetwear Imagine with that. those types of collabs, like Imagine. that's just a whole yeah. other thing. On that We're point, that on the runway. On that point, we gotta give a shout out to Daily Paper because that's exactly yeah. What no, we're that's doing. a step for yeah. streetwear for they sure. They released though. recently a collab with Ajax, the first black-owned fashion brand to collab with a major football club. Big, yeah. Champions League, Daily Paper on the chest. Mm -hmm. He works there too. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? So shout him out. But. I haven't seen that anywhere else. And to yeah. see like an African owned, black owned brand doing that on the world stage. Yeah. Unparalleled. Yeah. And off wise from Virgil too, RIP Virgil, another black man doing his thing in fashion. So Virgil, man. And Quasno, you just gonna say something too. Oh no, I was just gonna say that I agree with you. I think yeah. also the streetwear aspect, you know, obviously we're all black men here, black culture is obviously what we're trying to put on. Yeah. Those different angles are important. For instance, PSG Jordan, granted in the US has been, you know, the way it's been taken has been a bit interesting, but that's a really strong angle that PSG took yeah. a direction and that we didn't see. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to PSG as well. Yeah. It even right. introduced the fourth kit because I don't remember seeing a fourth kit until Bro. Then. And now that just yeah. gives, when you have more, I mean, we might have a fifth kit one time and that'll yeah. be the high fashion collab. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's limitless potential and yeah. I love that footy is pushing fashion more than any other sport. Yeah, true. And we got to give a shout out to Wavy Footy. Come on. Because oh, well, fits of, of the week, tap in with us. Of yeah. course. Fits yeah. of the week. I mean, imagine if like Champions League started doing like those walk-ins that the NBA that does. Players wear, yeah. Please, please, let's yeah. let's the, at least elevate a little bit of like the high fashion so that yeah. players can show a little bit of personality. That's NWSL the been doing that for yeah. real. Yeah. Yeah. FC yeah. for sure went crazy with the with the. That's yeah. one thing the US ton of walk-ins. Yes. NWSL yeah. in general, super fly. MLS yeah. as well, but I'm gonna lie. NWSL they might be out dripping. Killing out. The Houston right. Dash, Angel City, come Dash on. Dash this year, Dash they might be number one yeah. low key. Mm. OD. Oh, Houston Dash, I'm going crazy. Houston Shout out everybody over there. Yeah, they put it together and. You know, we can't talk about footy fashion yeah. without talking about five aside because five aside. Let me move this laptop so y'all can see the knees, bro. Come on, y'all gotta Come see. Uh, you you gotta expose I the got knees. To, Come bro. on, you gotta now. see the full fit. You crazy? You the guys knees is crazy. You can't on, have footy crazy. fashion without five myself. aside. I cut these myself, bro. Listen, wow. this we, we put it together. <laughs> okay, we all put it together <laughs> every stroke. single time we come through. We gonna go around the room as always. What we got on? 
what we putting on today? Come on, Sebastian. Seb. You know, I had to bring the throwback AC Milan kit just to remind some of y'all how many Champions Leagues we got. Like, how <laughs> many? Shameless. You know, Come seven. on. Shameless. And only one club has more. Seven. Impressive, bro. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, no, a little vintage El Sharawi, you know, AC Milan kit, uh, some cargos and some Pumas. You're always going to see me wearing Pumas. Just want to you know, put that out there. Go he going to have a vintage a vintage jersey every single mm-hmm. <laughs> every time he's the youngest that's and he's out fact. vintaging everybody is that's true. That's, that's true that's true i'm gonna step my game up on that yeah mm. yeah mm. uh coming real calm today uh japanese on top japanese on bottom these are from kariko uh i think these are loop and wheel um got them from blue and green around the corner from here and uh ones on the feet so yeah real uh Japanese, Japanese today. Japanese. Yes, okay. Sir. You eat sushi? <laughs> I do. That was, can we say that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> was just, I'm just asking. It's just I think Japanese. That's, okay. yeah, that's, okay. that's the first thing that's, that popped into that's my all right? head. I think so. Right, yeah. yeah, of course. Shout, shout out, out to, Japanese soda. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> nah. Shout out to Kashi Murakami. <laughs> all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't eat sushi. <laughs> yeah. Eat sushi. Nah. nah, he's pescatarian. Don't eat sushi. That's I don't, crazy. I don't. I don't like raw stuff, bro. Well, raw food. Um, but <laughs> Time. listen, wow. um, I'm dri- I'm no wearing way, today. Bro. Come on, on. today I'm, I'm wearing. wearing you know what I'm saying we all we all three stripes today. All Adidas got the form runners on feet, full red um, hoodie and sweats, just full Adidas. Yeah, Very I had cozy. to come in bold because and and this Very is gonna cool. relate to like my music and what I've been listening to recently. Okay, <laughs> but I had to come in <laughs> <all> <laughs> red because because I've been real heavy on Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? As of late, and Nipsey, although we ain't got to talk about Nipsey's you know affiliations or whatever, but he he was big on wearing red with gold jewelry, so that's why I got the gold rings. I'm a ring guy too, so yeah, R.I.P. Nip. R.I.P. So Nip, that, marathon but, continues. For yes, sure. sir. That's, that's show, what I'm show. on. What you got on, my boy? On the feet, yeah. we got a little bit of Alexander McQueen. Woo! R.I.P. <laughs> to the homie. Uh-huh. Um, you know me, Minimal L.A., always going to be on the pants. Y'all should sponsor me. We got the distressed denim with the zippers on the inside because they used to be on the inside before y'all put them on the outside. It's whatever. Come on. I got to rep my boy Mo Cooley's brand, Motion Apparel. Just came out this summer. He's been going crazy. Yeah. He's also a whole ass professional footy player doing his fashion thing. Very cozy tee. The fit's perfect. The color's perfect. So yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. For sure. Facts, facts, facts. Yo, shout out Mo, shout out Mo. Another black on black on black fit. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? This is what we're going to do as much as possible. But it's Jordan's on the feet, four's on the feet. Shout out LBF, Live, Breathe, Football, mm-hmm. Ebun, Philly, <laughs> on the chest. And then I got these pants. This is a London brand. I'm forgetting the brand name, but shout out London for that. For sure. Black on black on black. Come on. Black and shout out Mo, also from Philly. One of the youngest doing it. Doing hey, it in 21. Philly so right that's here. the boy, for sure. I'm Absolutely. Saying. Yes, sir. Footy, fashion, five-a-side. That's just, that's just how we do. That's how we pull up. But also, a segment of the show, every time we have to go around the room and also see what we're listening to what are we what are we what's our tracks right now what's like your your theme song what are you listening to when you're driving when you're walking when you're on the train what tunes are we tapping in right now i'm a and i kind of introduced this a little bit earlier but heavy on nipsey heavy on uh victory lap right now i know a few days ago was the ninth year anniversary of his uh crenshaw tape so Mm, yeah. yeah big shout out to nip man nip nipsey Huge inspiration of mine. Definitely somebody to to emulate in terms of the work rate, in terms of authenticity in your craft, in terms of just having a boss mentality and a boss energy wherever you go and respecting yourself as a man, as yeah. a businessman, as um as a father, also just as a human being, that's somebody who I just from listening to him speak, I could tell that that was somebody who was really about what they said they are about and yeah. that's that's something that's admirable to always try to emulate is walk the walk but yeah. or talk the talk but also walk it so and yeah, he man. believed in himself too to get Absolutely. to where he did he was on his mixtape for a hundred dollars yeah yeah like he really did things a whole different way Damn. yeah and hove about a thousand copies of it yeah like now nah, you believe in your crap yes bro. he's and different it, nips is different bro and that's a big reason why uh whenever i'm in la i try to tap in and like uh pull up to to Crenshaw and Slauson and just show love, buy some teas, whatever I can. Just 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 tap in with that nip hustle energy. Cause yeah, you can always need a little more of that. But mm-hmm. yeah, what y'all been listening to? Who got in next? Mm. I'll say um, 
I gotta give a shout out to Quavo and Takeoff. I didn't see it. Unkin Few. For real, because like back in high school, Migos was running shit. Oh, for like, sure. You at the yeah. bus station, like you in that shit. Even college. Get right know. with you. Yeah. Like Dang. they had endless bops, bro. Yeah, Versace. So, come on. Ever since they kind of had that falling out with Offset, I've been like, I just haven't really been tapping in because it just, I f- it feels weird. Yeah, yeah. Listening to Offset's them. a key. I mean, they're all key, but yeah. Yeah, Offset always come with the Offset, craziest, nice, bro, the craziest flow. Wire and two. <laughs> no, he's bro, the craziest flow. He's arguably the best. So rapper. to hear like Quavo and Takeoff put together a body of work that's like really, really, really solid. I'm yeah. like, like I've been listening to it a lot, bro, and it's no, it's nostalgic. Yeah, like it's taking me back. Um, and they have one sample on there from Outkast. Yeah, oh, it's hard. Uh, yeah, but yeah, the sample in the production, like shit. everything was like flawless. So yeah, shout out to them for making that comeback and yeah, continuing to do what they know how to do best, even if there's drama yeah. going on in the background. Cause it's, yeah. that's not the easiest thing to do. Word and shout out Migos for keeping it private too. Cause mm-hmm. like Offset and uh, excuse me, Quavo and Takeoff been in interviews, but they're not throwing Offset under the bus. Like yeah, everybody's keeping it cordial. So. Who knows what really happened, but they're not throwing anybody under the bus. So I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't yeah. need any more black men beefing in the public. No more either, beef. So. None of that yeah. Freddie Gibbs, Benny the Butcher stuff, please. Yeah, <laughs> please. If y'all got some <laughs> problem, keep it in house, handle Freddie it. Freddie, I'm hard. Men, <laughs> and keep it pushing. Man, For sure. Freddie Gibbs. But yeah, I'm shout out, shout out, Quay. <laughs> Crazy, Yo, crazy. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to Quavo. Shout out Quavo, bro. Come on, man. Yo, Seb, what are you listening to? What else, what I listen to? Um, I've been listening to Saba's album a lot. Like, oh, just his, actually his discography a lot recently. Yeah, bro. Um, I don't know, like another person that like we want to talk about like artists we respect a lot. He's like one of the biggest independent artists still to this day. So, Speak like, on it, and he stays independent. Yeah, did a whole tour independent. All his friends are with him on tour. All independent, so you know it's just it's impressive. Yeah. Um, and uh, it's just very very cool to see someone from, like, a space where they weren't given any handouts to like, then turn around and give all the handouts to the people that he came up with. So yeah, yeah. No, so no, no, one, no. Of the, one of the best albums of the year. One of the best discographies of any young rapper. He raps better than your favorite rapper. He's actually different. Yeah. And he's doing this by himself with his gang. Like, nah, he's incredible. Yeah. I saw him in concert this year too. Like he's on another good planet, shows, bro. good performer. Yeah, whether yeah. like he gets yeah. the numbers and now he's getting the numbers yeah. with independence. Yeah. The art is, you can't touch it, bro. He's yeah. different. So what's what suburb from again? He from Chicago. 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 Yeah. Going off of that G Herbo, that's what oh. I've been listening to. G Herbo. Survivor's remorse. You know, he's been doing a lot of interviews about you know going through what he went through in Chicago. He sounds very mature, but it's still raw. So sure. he got his son on the intro. Love that. Yeah, I heard that's cool. that. It's hard, man. Yeah. Yo, on that on that note. <sighs> When talking about drill, what drill scene is better? UK drill, Chicago drill, or New York City drill? And I'm gonna put New York, Bronx, Brooklyn, all of that together in Ga- the same in the same lot. Ghana UK, drill. what? Ghana drill. Ghana drill. Wow. I said Cowboys. Y'all gotta tap in for real. Yeah, I'll put you, I'll put you on after. Yeah, I've seen I've sure. seen hints of it. Shout out names, bro. Nah, hold on, hold on. I said Cowboys. Black Sheriff doing his thing. Who else be doing July? Shout out Black Sheriff. Shout out Black Sheriff. Yeah, you know, yeah. you know about the guy. Yeah, 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 I know about yo. Yeah. Come yeah. on. Of course I fucked up. Hey. hey. Come on. Come hey. on. Hey. My G. Drill wise, we just want to go around, say our favorite scene. Yeah. I'll just you can start with your quest. It's tough to pick. It's tough. I'm not gonna lie because Chicago drill that brings me back to high school. And they started it. Little herb for me, Jerbo. That was when I got into drill. Yeah. UK drill, that's when they brought in the different sounds and mixed it with the grime sound that yeah. for me, then Pop Smoke brought it to another level. Cause UK yeah. drill, that sound's been around since like 2016 for me. New York City's doing its thing, sampling. Ghana drill, you know, been doing its thing for the last couple <laughs> of years and highlighting a different type of culture in Kumasi. So, gotta pick one, bro. <laughs> I don't know if I could pick. Got you. That's fair. Like, <laughs> nah, no, nah, for sure. Yeah, I'm split. It's all different. I'm split. Sure. What you saying? I'm going to go with UK. I feel like their drill rappers are more talented rappers. They're like more talented artists. And I think a lot of them have That's the ability fair. to branch outside of drill. That's fair. Um, but I'm really loving what's coming out of New York. Some of the best stuff on my gym playlist, definitely, you know, 22 G's, stuff like that. Um, but if I had to pick, definitely Fuck. UK. Yeah. What's up with what's wrong? two G's, bro? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hold up. For like no. just <laughs> angry <laughs> drill music. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. Yeah. Nah, if I just want some intense ass drill, I would say 22 G's like 20, 
20 though, like 2019. But yeah, I hate, well, I'm I hate saying, that, I'm talking about working out only. I'm not at the crib chilling, listening to. Don't listen to Don't listen to Kendrick. Don't listen to Kendrick. We'll get to me. Yeah. Look, don't look, look. Kendrick. But I will say, just off that though, UK drill, like <clears throat> that type of sound, they always gonna do the best because that's really yeah, where it came from. Their sound. Yeah, yeah for and real. And I will say, I personally heard UK drill turn into like R&B drill before I've heard it used in the US. Melodic, melodic drill. The melodic drill I heard over there first. That's a fact. Look, man, I only got one thing to say. Talk about it. Straight up, never lacking, always pistol packing with them automatics. We gonna set him to heaven. Hold on! <laughs> Brooklyn, Flossy, baby, you know the vibe. Brooklyn, <laughs> drill, the best. Hold on! That's it. That's the best in the world, and there's there's nothing else. Shout out to everything else that influenced Brooklyn drill. Yeah. But come on, bro. Chef G, Sleepy yeah. Hollow, mm. Pop Smoke, R.I.P. to the big poppy lokester. Come on, man. Dusty Low Kane. Uptown 2, Smooth L. You know what I'm saying? On, we we love. Sure. Yeah. Brooklyn, man. Bronx Shout out Fabio Foreign. Uptown got it too. Man, I, listen, we're Brooklyn. Brooklyn got it. Mm. Brooklyn got it, bro. I just, yeah, there's nothing else for me. It went, like, up, it went up town. It, yeah, uptown kind of. Yeah. K Flock. Shout out K Flock. Shout out K Flock. We'll K-Flug. talk about that no, later. No, that's not happening. Yeah. That's not happening. A lot of stuff. Where did Drake but pick? Harlem. Shout out to. Yeah, shout out to K Flock and all them. Shout out to everybody, you know, doing their thing uptown too in the Bronx or whatever. And shout out Big BX online. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Brooklyn got it, bro. What you saying? Uh, I'm gonna go with Gustavi's pick. Come on, G U K. They got, they got it, bro. Too. Especially like Hetty One recently. Yeah, has been dropping some really good drill music. True. Um, for me, New York drill has just gotten like too violent. Nah, cause they're not lying, bro. They're and actually like, not lying. And like. Yeah. Not even just because a lot of the content drill wise everywhere is violent, but just the sound too. <laughs> like niggas on a song, like I'd be like, it's bro, much, like yeah. you got it. Like I can't, I can't listen. I don't know what context I'm gonna listen to that because it's like yeah. it's just loud as hell. Mm. Yeah, um, and you some people, old, my boy, huh? You're getting old, maybe. <laughs> Uncle Kenny, Uncle yeah. Kenny, Yo, maybe, maybe that's, maybe that's what old it head is. Take. He says it's too loud for me. Old yeah. head take. Nah, nah, for real, because sure. like, when uh, will I put this on? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, maybe I'm getting yeah. old. Maybe I'm just like my mute, my uh, taste and music is changing. Yeah, but. <laughs> I just can't like Man, my listening little, to Stevie, Stevie Wonder out here okay, talking about Bob Marley. I'm not even going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not nah, even going to say that. I'm not even going to say that. I'm not even going to lie to you. Because I can get, get it. I can get, get it. with I Chef get G. I can get with Sleepy because yeah. like, it's melodic. You could listen to it and enjoy it. But like certain, like even K Flock, like some niggas be screaming on this shit. They got a lot to get out, my boy. No, no, like that's fine. Like do your shit, bro. I can't listen to this. It definitely has. Has some um, remnants of like six nine because like when six nine was yeah. doing his thing, there was a lot of singles. His singles were hot in New York. We're not gonna lie, yeah, but it's yeah. actually a certain type of energy. Yeah. So for me, yeah, nah. UK they just rap better for real. Yeah. That's a fact. Um, I think I'll probably have to say UK in all honesty. Yeah. Uh, but it has nothing to do with like the yelling. It's just like. I actually kind of enjoy the violence of it. It's kind of like fun to listen okay. to. That's oh, just, that's a good. A that's a I didn't good know this was. But the UK, I feel like UK drill is actually more articulate in their violence. Yeah, no, I'm not like going to paint a clearer picture Yo, of violence. I was. I'm gonna say that's a good point. I don't mean to cut you off. No, go ahead. Bro, because due to the different like crime scene out there too. Obviously, yeah. here we talk about you know clipping somebody. Hit somebody with a headshot out there. You really got to shift someone in their chest. Bro, so yeah. Explain drawing it in drawing a figures way. in someone's chest with a machete. Is yes. Yeah. Can we just, can we just, let, let's, just let's just take we a moment. We don't like right, violence. Let's yeah. just take a moment right there. We oh, just want to address that. I um, looked a little too happy. Uh, five, aside, <laughs> po- five aside <laughs> podcast. <laughs> five aside podcast as an entity does not um, condone any form of violence. You know what I'm saying? Put gun, knives, whatever it is. Yeah. Yeah. Stay safe out there, so, especially the young black men out there. Can I give us a very sharp right turn Please. into other types of music? Yes, sir. So you know me, Spooky Season, got to be having my R&B. Oh just want to shout out. Scary. Wait, bro. I just oh, want to shout out. I just want to shout out. Yo, I'm trying to change the vibrations. <laughs> yes, please, 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 please do. 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 And we not shout out. Pumpkin spice season. Scary lattes. You're good. You're good. Nah. We, didn't even shout, we also haven't been shouting out any women artists, so I just want to give some love to a few low-key R&B singers uh-huh. uh, who are women who don't always get you know the craziest praise earlier in their career. So we got to shout out Ombre out of 
uh, Louisiana, God, Nola, awesome. one of the best projects of the year. Yeah. Uh, Joyce Rice out of LA just dropped the EP. Hella fun, good dance music on that. This man, Melly, then, Uptown Harlem. She can rap, sing, and flow in Spanish, Melly, English, Melly. and Spanglish. Mm -hmm. Shout out the homie Melly. Uh, Mars, I just discovered today out of Louisville. We also got Samaria out on the West Coast Bay Area. And then Nia Sultana out of Brooklyn. She's going crazy. Her single, uh, Crystal, amazing vibes. Bro, amazing vibes. Speaking of women, <coughs> and, savant. Um, mm -hmm. shout You're out to savant. Shout out to the goat. That's what I do. Tiana Taylor. Oh, KT uptown too. KTSE, one of the best albums I've ever heard in my life. Seven songs, dude. I was part of uh, the Kanye's. Kanye shit, yeah, yeah. Twenty eighteen song. Seven song, just uh, producing era. Yeah, but, yeah. Shout out Tiana. And Taylor. shout out Tiana because she sings, she writes, dances. she directs her video, she yes. dances, she models, she does everything. She got a reality TV show. Like one of the most talented people out there. Period. And her production studios. Uh, for music videos and whatnot, she has a woman who runs it and mostly hires women in as well. So Ooh, shout out Tiana good. for that. No, yeah. That's good shit. Harlem's finest. It's Beautiful. Good, and yo, before we close out the show, actually, we asked you guys last time or before the, the, the other episode too to submit questions because, again, we want you guys involved, um, all of you involved, guys, girls, ladies, gentlemen. We want you all involved with Five Aside as much <clears> as possible. And so we ask you to send us your questions contribute to the podcast, carry on the conversations. And so we're going to read some of them on here just to, to see what you guys are thinking and what you guys want to know from us and our opinion. So Nate Flowers says, is USA making it out of the group stage for the World Cup? Yes, manifesting it, absolutely. I don't know how we're going to do it, but we're going to do it. That's all I got. I'm yeah. not I'm not American. I don't identify <laughs> with, with USA. There's no us, there's no we. Damn. So... Good luck. You in for who? Haiti? Yeah, bro. For sure. <laughs> what? Hey, man, no, Shout out. Man. We got the Haiti jersey behind me. If we just look yes, sir. We got Shout out, yes, Haiti. Sir. Shout out yes, my sir. Haitians. Haiti, 1804. Stop by say. Yes, sir. But first, first, Jean -Jean, first, sure. first black nation to free themselves from, <laughs> still, from, wait. from colonization. <laughs> I want some black rice. Yeah, Haitian he wants, here, he wants some you black rice right now. Yeah, yes, sir. I do. Yo. Yo, that's some Haitian. Um, What's some black rice, there. too? We have the Aros next one, too. Come on, come on, come yeah. on. Come on, Juju yeah. John John. Come on, G. I'm Haitian now. What's that? up? Is nah, USA that's... making it out the group stage? Bro, who's in the Iran? Wales. England. Anything's possible, yeah. Yeah, all those <laughs> Every single team is in shape. Yo, we're like the American possible. footy podcast. We're not even hyping the boys up. Yeah, we're going to make it out. Come I, I'm on. Say, I'm saying yeah, yeah for I'm sure. Yeah. Have to. The have to. Nah, yeah. so right, actually, happen. I have a question. When the U.S. plays, do y'all root for them? Uh, no. Go. Yes. Yes. Depends Absolutely. on who they're Depends on who. Depends Depends on who they're if they're playing play. against Brazil, I root for Brazil. If they're playing against a Caribbean or country... Yeah. Yeah, facts. I'm rooting for U.S. Or an sure. African. He said, he said conquer calf. I'm not rooting for shit. And like the team's getting blacker too, so I identify with them more as a black American. Mm. So now it's like anybody for sure. Right. Yeah. Before it might be a little different, but nah, for sure, I'm rooting for U.S. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a... Yeah, we we, not we, we rock with Clint though. <laughs> nah, we do rock with Clint. <laughs> it's more Donovan. We just don't know about Legend like Donovan. Donovan. <laughs> Yo, my dad had the craziest jokes about Donovan. He hated his guts. He said all day was walking around. For what? Dead ass, just walking around. Tabbing. He was nice though. He was nah, he's going go. He's mad boring. I would say this. I would say this though. Like my pops likes flair. He's like dog. This guy just walks around like bro. Man, he's, he's American. Bro, I yeah. can say this though. Yeah, fundamentals. Sure. I I interviewed <laughs> that ass, bro. Fucking like Tim Duncan. <laughs> he, I thought he was gonna be, bro. His. <laughs> I nah, he's he actually a Caribbean though. Based on how we now. how we see him. <laughs> on the oh, oh, Yo. <laughs> now watch out. Listen, listen. This? No, no, no. If you watch him. Duncan from the Caribbean Island? He's oh, Caribbean. Oh, Duncan. Yeah. I thought you said oh, Donovan. Donovan. Can you imagine? <laughs> nah, that nigga Jamaican for sure. I thought you were going to say Landon Donovan. No, no. Tim Duncan. Nah, that would I was like, bro, there's no way. No, that's funny as fuck. No, no, no. Tim Duncan's Caribbean. Shout out to Landon Donovan. I was going to say. I was going to say. Nah. We're not shouting you out, bro. We're definitely gonna make it mainstream. Yeah, because I, yeah, I interviewed him. Actually, that's was, a new conspiracy. He's he, uh, he's Caribbean. For he sure. was super nice, super, um, super courteous. Very, very good vibes. Um, talking to him. Shout out, Lyndon Donovan. It's and all you're, love, you're a bro. cool dude. Yeah, because I, I always have this misconception of certain footballers. Yeah, that based on how they're portrayed or how they play. That they're gonna be, they're gonna act a certain way, but as people, sometimes nah, they're actually pretty cool. Lending out of it was cool people. I don't want to get yeah. us off track at all. I really don't, but yeah. I have to get this off my chest based Yo. off what you just said, bro. Jordan Henderson, when Ooh. I see you, oh, it's fisticuffs. Bro. Oh man, you think you did it? 
You bro, think, I, I think he did, bro. Why? Yeah. So you think Jordan Henderson was racist? First of all, he looks racist. Seb, you said yeah. <laughs> he, yeah. he, he might look he racist. Looks, he Let's looks, get some context too. He looks like the well. center looks, defensive mid on the club you're playing yeah. who will call you a nigger yeah. as soon as he gets the opportunity, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, when you're he in looks, the when you're, he when looks it's like a corner one of them kick, When it's yeah. a corner yeah. kick, he like yeah. he, he, show, he whispering it. Or he's saying, Have you experienced that when you've been playing? Oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. One time I said nigga, and his wife was like, at least I'm not one. I was like, yo, you're fucking <laughs> crazy. So yeah, I had crazy. a Japanese kid call me the N word one time. Damn. Oh, oh racism ain't got no color. This, but is, come this is when you was on the pitch. Yeah. Hmm. No, I'm asking you. When I was on the pitch? Aye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we can get into footy stories next episode. <laughs> yeah, for but sure, yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. For sure. But Mad yeah, I just want to get that off my chest because, like, I it's just funny because I always see him, like, I feel like even yeah. when we used to play FIFA and stuff, yeah. I'd be like, yo, like, I don't know. Henderson just gives me the vibes was all crazy. Like, he just looks like a standard, like, White British racist, you know. And so when they said with a comb over, some, yeah. When they said he said something racist, <laughs> I was like, nah, bro, like, but the Liverpool fans said it couldn't be him. There's uh, no way. No, no, no. But bro, you know, know, you know what? What makes me think that he actually said it is Firmino's face. Like I don't know if y'all oh, seen the yeah. picture. I didn't. But that guy was just confused. He looked, he looked because of his face. His facial expression is like, damn. Like why you gotta put me in yeah, that position? Bro. Type mm. of thing where you're my teammate. You know what I'm saying, Firmino, captain. Like you. Yeah. You, you, yeah. I can't. Pick sides, but obviously there's a wrong side here and there's yeah. a right side. The Brazilian, then, the Brazilian players met after that. Yeah. He said a little huddle. So oh, Klopp's face wasn't um the best. F the FA is getting involved. I will say Henderson is England captain too. So what's really going on? Mm-hmm. And are we look. surprised it's coming from the England captain? Not surprised. Y'all keep playing all these white boys to the talented black players. Maybe you do better, but it's fine. Bang. Yeah, it's fine. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Next That's question. It. Next, Next question. question. Censor Seth says. Will Barca even win the Europa League or will United? Let me tell you something, Censor. Let me tell you something. Uh, listen, Censor, I hope you're looking at me. Nah, I appreciate that one, bro. Right now. Look at me. Look at me. Going Stop left. playing with me. Okay? We're not going to we're not going to Europa. Okay? And if we do, yeah, we're gonna win it, but we're not going to. Because we're looking towards the Champions League. Okay, the big boys only. That's the only thing we're looking towards. Clip that. We're not we're not gonna Clip be that with, sure. with no, no United, okay? Keep keep that somewhere else. So are you looking to be in the Champions League to win the yes, Champions League? Yes, of course. Ah, okay. The Champions League. <laughs> He's ah, okay. Copy, copy, copy. Yeah. Thank uh, you, Censor Seth. That's Yo, crazy. Let me, get that, let me get that Napoli question. <sighs> the Final Whistle podcast says, you shout out it. to the Final Whistle podcast. Shout out, all no, no. Shout out. Shout out to the Final Whistle. Shout out Javon and them. Yes, sir. For sure. Yes, sir. And they said, how far do you think Napoli will go into the Champions League this season? So, honestly, Napoli doesn't lose to any team in the Champions League besides City and PSG. And PSG at home, <laughs> at home in Naples, Napoli doesn't lose to any team. So, semifinals, honestly, like I could see semifinals for Napoli. So, they have probably the second or third best midfield in the world right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have Kvaratskhelia, I think is how you say his name. Mm, yeah, um, <clears throat> playing like. You know how Ronaldo used to play when he was mad young. Um, it's it's reminding me of that of those vibes. So you know that guy is very talented. I believe you know so. Osiman with his strange haircut is also very talented. Um, <laughs> yes. But yeah, no, I just I believe in that team. I think it's actually one of the most underrated teams in the world right now, and I think semifinal. Honestly, no, honestly, why not? Y'all are laughing. Why? Nah, I just oh, don't worry man. about that. But um, not even mentioning <laughs> Real Madrid is mad funny. <laughs> But uh, for me, Napoli, I'll say <laughs> I'm gonna give them. He said they can't That's even beat the players. Nah, but I'll say Napoli. I'll give them quarterfinals. Y'all can go to the quarterfinals. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, Semis, gonna, if you I'm get a good draw. Question. Yeah, next question. Uh, <laughs> That's a fact. Uh, yeah, that, we go. We go go to. It's tough. To, semis, you have to get through a yeah. lot of good teams. Yeah, too. unless you, if you get it, a good draw. You, That's you what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. If you get a good draw, you can get. I was saying earlier, City, cities be getting good draws. To me, you know what I mean, like man, City yeah. is tough. Like yeah. they don't be giving that fully good yeah. draws. Like. To me, they were. Um, it's giving me Ajax twenty. That's what I'm saying. It's giving me very much Ajax. I just hope they can keep that team and like build on it instead of having it dismantled. But it's all finances, bro. We got Final next. question. I mean, we touched this already, but I mean, we might as well talk about it yeah. on the episode. But uh, Cesar MT says, who will win the UCL? Who are your top three teams? I'm going to say City, Napoli, Real, and Bayern. I'm going to say those three. My three. Uh, City, we have to be, have to be that. Yeah. Um, 
I'm trying to think of the other teams left. It's tough. That one. Mm. Who else? Barcelona is not winning that shit. Who else is like dominating their group? Bayern. Bayern. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just PSG to has the talent, but it's you early. Just have to try it's and early. Me <laughs> <under the> <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna say Barcelona. It's early. early. It's still early. It's uh, I said Barcelona is not winning that. Top shit. three. Yeah, top nah. three. Um, to win the Champions League, obviously Football Club Barcelona. He's a wild um, boy. Bayern Munich and. He said, Barcelona. "I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not saying your team. I'm not saying your team. No, no. Actually, we got a bro, city fan. Gotta, we got a city fan. Y'all got a robot. You're shout a city. Out, you're a city fan. Shout out to Miguel. Miguel got to pop in because Miguel, Miguel, Miguel providing us with some flicks. Come in, you got to pop come in, in come Miguel. Come in, come in. Even if it's your head, you got to pop in. Just pop your head in front of the camera. Pop your head in front of the camera. You got to. And we right got to. Right there, bro. Right there. Oh, okay, careful. Which one? Right there. Right there. Right there. Right there, my boy. Give a wave. Give a wave. Hey." It's lit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout man. out Miguel for providing us some dope flicks. Y'all gonna see that on the socials uh, nah, very nah. soon. But yeah, City is my top one. But Barcelona a front. Yeah. <laughs> for Europa League. Come on, Barca. Mm-hmm. Stop. I it. don't know, man. United and Arsenal might be above them on there, anyways, but it's cool. Who you got? Yeah, I think top three. Um I realistically I think City will win it this year. If all their players stay healthy, yeah. I honestly don't see who could stop them? Like on all positions on the pitch. Pep. Um Pep. Bayern, I'm gonna say, is behind <laughs> them. Uh and then Chelsea FC, you know, we make magic happen. I sit on a very unserious couch. Two <laughs> two very two, unserious two, couch. Two two years ago, whatever the math, we made magic happen. Yeah. And we we could do it again. Boy, two times in a hundred. Was that when the stadiums yeah, were empty and y'all benefited yeah, from no atmosphere? We so we <laughs> that was what the stadiums were they, they were in the bubble. <laughs> <Silent>. The bubble. <laughs> we could do it again. Why is your stadium so quiet? <laughs> Why do Chelsea fans make no noise? Why do you keep losing? <laughs> why is yours so loud? Yeah, and you don't why do y'all sell your right? tickets to anything. German fans? That was crazy. Mm. <laughs> that was actually crazy. I'm gonna lie. Frankfurt really. Nah, I will say it's interesting. Kendrick saying that about City because you know. People said that about City last year. Pep did an interview recently, and they asked yeah. him about the Champions League. Asked about winning it, and what he say? Real Madrid's there. You can't. Yeah, yeah. it's can't different. Can't bet nothing. Wow. Yeah. Slurping them. It's the reality wow. of the fact. Wow, we're not yeah, happy. It's the reality of the fact. Not oh. y'all. I'm talking about Pep. No, of course, yeah. <laughs> Like back your team, man. I back like how your this team. time you didn't say Paul. Back your club, fam, bro. They don't even like black players over there. Who, cool, Man City? Yeah. Low key he signing his head. Jesus. Well, that's oof. They sold uh, them all. Sterling. They're all gone. Sterling. Yeah. Oh no, I, I, that's my that's my theory too. I'm not gonna hold that. You. I mean, Pep it's doesn't Pep. like black players. It's yeah. Pep. Let's get into that next episode. That's oh, he still got the yeah, yeah, juju. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, nah, that's why. Yeah, yeah. I would not put it past any of those managers. But to close out, FIFA 23 is officially out, and it could be one of you lucky viewers for the price of free 99. Not fully free, because y'all got to do some stuff first. But oh god, FIFA 23, yes. <laughs> Yo. Can we be serious, please, so I can announce this giveaway? FIFA you want 23, me serious? Take your shades out, bro. FIFA 23 <laughs> is out right now. Um, and if you want to win this, make sure you follow Five Aside Pod on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yes. Make sure you follow us on TikTok. Make sure you subscribe on. on YouTube. Please. And also on Instagram, follow everybody. There's, there's seven pages that Five Aside mm-hmm. Podcast. We're going to put the rules down in the description on YouTube also. Absolutely. Thanks. Follow Five Aside Pod on TikTok, on Instagram. Subscribe on YouTube. Follow the people that we follow on Instagram also, and this can be yours. Free FIFA, bro. Free, free. FIFA. So free why shooting. not? Free 99. Free 99. Free 99. Free 99. All you got to do Ultimate is edition. steps, and you're going to get it. Ultimate edition. Yeah, yeah. ain't no basic edition. We yeah, don't do yeah, nothing yeah. basic over PS5. here. PS5. We pulling up. 4K. Yes. With Mbappe on the cover. We pulling up. Yeah. And Kerr. And Sam, and Sam Kerr. Come Shout on. out Sam. For sure. For sure. So, you know yeah, man. Uh, thank you, guys. Whether you're listening to us, whether you've been watching thank you for tuning in with us thank you for discussing with us for sending your questions make sure you continue to send those in make sure you continue to tap in with us on all socials like we said before five aside is here to stay we're not going nowhere we only gonna get bigger and better two of a million come on you know what i'm saying road the marathon continues we're gonna keep elevating uh make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you keep commenting share this with everybody you know who enjoys footy or who enjoys seeing Young black men do dope things, you know what I'm saying? Because they will enjoy this. And even if they're not footy fans, they're going to get into it. Five aside. 
We out of here, man. Thank you for watching. Five See you up, soon. See you soon. Down. Peace. See y'all yes, later. Sir.